Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you and tell you how to open a nail polish bottle that's stuck. This will be an easy tutorial and I'll be going over five easy steps. Five easy ways for you to open a bottle just like this one. Let's get right into the video. Step number one or method number one and these steps go from the easiest ones to the more complex ones. So I suggest that you try them in this order. So you start off with the easy steps and then if the easy steps don't work you can make your way to the more difficult ones. Okay. So step number one or method number one is to run hot water from your tap okay and put the bottle under the hot water now you want to preferably put this part of the bottle right where the lid connects to the actual bottle where the lid attaches to the bottle right where it attaches right there you want to try and run the hot water right over here for about 30 seconds now obviously you know don't let your hand go under the hot water and don't put boiling hot water just put like you know relatively hot water from the tap okay you don't want to go the hottest that your tap can go just go relatively hot because after a certain temperature it doesn't really make too much of a difference um keep your hand to the side maybe even wear rubber gloves if you want you're going to need them for an another step anyways run it under for 30 seconds dry it off try to open it up okay that's going to adjust depending on the actual material it might adjust the uh the uh the thickness and the sizing of the connection okay which will hopefully loosen it up and if there's anything caught in there it might free it up okay uh step number two or method number two is another water trick but this is a little bit longer so you want to fill a bowl with hot water okay so fill like a porcelain bowl or a glass bowl a metal bowl with hot water don't really use a plastic bowl for this take your uh, your nail polish bottle put it in the in the water for like 10 to 15 minutes by that time the water will have cooled down to a lukewarm temperature for the most part anyways um, but that is going to do the same thing as running it under hot water but longer and it's gonna soak it into all of the little cracks and crevices dry it off try to open it up Hopefully that works. If not, we're moving on to step number three, which is that you've already done, you know, the loosening with the water. Now we're going to enhance our grip. So get a rubber glove, like a kitchen rubber glove. Put the rubber glove on. Make sure your nail polish bottle's dry and really try and like, rah, try and rip it open. Okay. Try and twist it open. I mean, with like some ripping power. Um, the rubber glove will give you extreme grip on the cap of the nail polish bottle and hopefully it'll help you open it up. Um, if that doesn't work, step number four um, is actually to get an elastic band. So take an elastic band, wrap it continually around the lid of the nail polish bottle like this. You're going to get more grip. Okay, so you can try and open it just with the elastic band. You get extreme grip with this. Or what you can do for even more grip is wrap the elastic band and also combine it with step number three, which is wear a rubber glove, and then try and open it. Okay, you're going to get as much power as you possibly can. So if you can't open it with all of those steps, then you move on to step number five, which is the most complex one. It's really not that difficult, but it's the most complex one, which is to actually, um, you're, you're at that point, you know there's probably some nail polish that's sort of built up on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some nail polish remover, just like this, okay? You're going to get a Q-tip, okay? Dip the Q-tip in the nail polish remover. Take your Q-tip with your nail polish remover and just go around where it connects like this. Just go around and get the nail polish remover in there nicely. Dip your Q-tip again. Go around a few times. Okay, just like that. Dip your Q-tip again, go around a few times, okay? Now what you're gonna do is let it sit for a few minutes. Maybe you wanna try one more time going around with the Q-tip after it's sit and settled. Um, but basically what you wanna do at that point is any nail polish that has been built up around the cap, now you're gonna you know, either just try and open it or get your rubber band and your rubber glove and try and open it. At that point, you've pretty much tried everything that you can try. If you haven't gotten it by then, there are other things that you can do, but those are like extreme measures and they'll kind of ruin the bottle of nail polish itself. So when you tried those things, you know, you those should work, but you really want to make the effort to try each of them one by one. And they sort of enhance each other because after you've run it under hot water, putting it in a bowl will add more of that effect. Okay, then adding a rubber glove will give you twisting power um, a rubber band and a rubber glove will give you even more twisting power right and you've already soaked it underwater eventually if you go to the q-tip and nail polish remover stage you know it's, it's just adding on so hopefully it works by the time you get to step number five and that's it if you like this video please be
be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.